Hello, and welcome back to Key Comic Universe. I'm back here today with another comic book haul, and it's some um, uh, pretty good books in here. So, before I get into the video, please like, comment, and subscribe. If you're not already subscribed, I would highly recommend it. Also, check me out on Instagram, uh, at Key Comic Universe, where I do a bunch of other comic book content, where I do sales, and just a ton, a ton of different things. Now, Starting off with this first book, this is from um, a local guy who who was, or not is, but who sold me part of his comic collection, stopped by to have me take a look at, and I end up walking away with some books. Um, starting off, Amazing Spider-Man issue number one, variant from Hastings, pretty cool, first cameo of Cindy Moon, who later becomes Silk, so yeah, and this guy... Had not touched his comic collection in years. Had not read most of it. Like, just put it in storage and forgot about it. So there is some rebagging and reporting that I'll have to do. But it's crazy. Like, a lot of people's books I go and take a look at, they've already picked through stuff. They've already, like, you know, have sold some of their stuff in the past. This guy just collected what he liked back then and held on to it. Now, of course, I didn't pick up everything, but I did pick up all the Spider-Man books. Next one, ASM issue number two, second issue, ASM issue number three. Wow, cool book. And then, of course, Amazing Spider-Man issue number four. Now, when I was going through the box, at the front of the box, there was some trade paperbacks, some bulk, you could say, and I was like, Oh, okay, cool. He has, like, ASM1. That's that, that's cool. But, you know, a lot of the time, you go through this, and the person doesn't have a complete run, or they sold stuff off. But, no, this guy, this guy had it. So, ASM issue number four. Awesome. First appearance of Silk or Cindy Moon as Silk, whichever you prefer. Definitely cool book. Uh, this book was a heater for a while right now. It feels like it's cooling off just a bit. Um... Well, not just a bit. It feels like it's cooling off a lot. But, you know, I could be wrong. This book could easily come back as a sick cover. Super iconic book. So, who knows? Just a good book either way. Um, next, ASM issue number five. Second appearance of Silk. Cool. Cool. Can't go wrong with that. Then we got issue number six. Awesome. Issue number seven. Just, I miss marvel appearance as well so yeah i mean that's kind of cool but yeah unfortunately that's it for asm um most of the stuff he brought in it was just very short runs it was like he like well from my understanding he collected like stuff that looked interesting picked it up and then if it didn't keep his interest or if he decided that really wasn't something he was looking for then he would move on plus he only collected for a very short time period between about 2014 to 2017 in that range so it was kind of like a time capsule uh next edge of spider verse issue number one and before anyone gets too excited about oh this must be another complete run no this is one of the few examples where he didn't have it one of the very few this dude had awesome books um edge spider verse issue number five this is the first appearance of what's her name like uh, something, something, Park, Parker, something, something, robot, spider robot, I don't know, all I know is that people look for this book, um, and the character was in Edge of the Spider-Verse in the first movie in 2018, so a little bit of desirability there, but no, oh, still good book, still good to see, I want to ask him if he does have an Edge of Spider-Verse 2, um, there was some of the books, um, were unfortunately not the ones he brought but some of the books at his house were unfortunately damaged years ago so and other books he just hadn't even looked through yet so <laughs> i'm hoping that if he does have it just by verse two that's in the undamaged pile and not in the damaged pile but you know if he has either way which he probably does since you know he did go for like runs and stuff like that i'm gonna have to try and make a deal for it <laughs> But only time will tell. This is just our first deal. They're all kind of small. Uh, Spider-Man 2991. Uh, this is a Hastings variant. This There, there were a lot 
I should say, more than a few hasting variants, which is cool. Can't can't go wrong with those. And then he had issues number two, three, four, and there we go. And then that was it for Spider-Man 2099. And then he also had two issues of Superior Spider-Man, issues number 32 and 33, uh, Edge of the Spider-Verse tie-in issues. So that's cool. Definitely some cool books. And then the final stuff I picked up on from him, this is probably the least important, probably the smallest stuff. I did not pay too much for these. And that is just uh, uh, these lenticular covers done by DC, which they really don't do anymore. These really aren't the most attractive books, in my opinion, but some people like them. So I'm not going to diss anyone for enjoying these. I get it. It's cool if you're into it. But for me personally, not really my thing. So, of course, these will be available. Of course. But then it's like, okay, now I go find people who want those. And that was it from him. You know, super nice guy. Love going through stuff. Talking comics with him. Um, he did have some stuff not for sale that he brought along anyways, just to kind of show. Um, but yeah, pretty cool collection. It was like a time capsule, like 2014 to 2017 of Marvel. Um, and some DC. Some DC in there. But really just a Marvel time capsule. And it was cool. They have some awesome stuff. Um, so thank you to that guy. Uh, I, I'm not going to use his actual name because I did not ask him if I could or any other information. But dude, awesome stuff. It was great working with you on that deal. Okay. Now, outside of that, my the, the rest of my comic haul for this week is pretty small. There, there, There is not a lot. Next week, uh, a lot of my stuff, again, got deleted in the mail. Living in this part of the U.S., it's literally middle of nowhere, so stuff does not show up on time. Uh, anger. <laughs> but anyways, uh, I'll start off with the uh, smallest book that I still left to show. And that is Mr. Mystery Issue Number 8. Yes, super sweet book. Um, now, a 2.0, okay, it's not high grade. Page quality, good. Awesome. I'll take off white any day of the week for anything from back then. Now, the actual grade, yeah, not the best. But from what I was looking at, there are some pressable defects. But despite having pressable defects, I really doubt that it would come back too much higher. And, you know, I, I'd just be worried. Now, the main issues, and I'll bring it up close, but the main issues is just these corners. And there's a lot of, like, you know, corners that aren't there. Uh, like, outside of that, it's pretty nice. Um, the staples look pretty popped on this book. Like, they're still in there, but they look popped. And, yeah, on the back, it's just basically the same thing. Um, it could definitely be clean and pressed, but, you know, I, I really don't know about this book. If it would come back a higher grade, despite a clean and press. So, you know. That's probably not one I'm going to crack. Next book. I, I, I always pick this book up. Why am I always seeing this book? Why does this book always come back to me? And, and what could that book possibly be that I continuously pick up? Ugh. Batman Adventures 12. Now, I haven't picked this book up in a while. Like, if you've been on my YouTube, I've not picked this book up in a long time. But every once in a while. Yeah. I, I see this book and then I pick it up, but <laughs> I've not done this book before outside the other copy, but you know, 8.0, definitely a little bit of an upgrade for me. Um, managed to get this one super low in price during this whole kind of dip right now for like more modern comics and for some of the blue chip keys. Now, I don't think this is a blue chip key. Well, it isn't, but you know, it's still a good book from the 90s, one of the more expensive books from the 90s, so... 8.0, I'll take it. It's respectable. I mean, just going to continue upgrading this book. So, yeah, that's the goal. Just keep on improving. And that shouldn't be too hard to find track record with this book. So, yeah. Okay, there was one other book I ordered, but it's already sold. It is gone. And I'll just tell you guys what it is. It's a crime suspense story 17. Uh, that book sold in about 12 hours after getting it into inventory it was gone it was a nice copy around 2.0 it, it was gone super fast 
Uh, I was not surprised that that book sold very quickly, but no, what are you going to do? And in the final book, this is definitely a growl. Now, it's not in good shape. It's beat. It's destroyed. It's decimated. But it still presents well. And that is Superman issue number 14. Now, before you look, like, most people will look at this and be like, hey, that looks like a pretty nice copy. Why are you saying that's beat and decimated? Oh. Oh, you, you, you really want to know? Okay, so let's start off with the small stuff. Restoration. Okay, this book has been restored a ton. Like, it's been trimmed. It had the staples replaced. It has um, pieces filled. And also, all the restoration is super noticeable on this book. Like, you get up close on this book, pff, restoration for days. Um, let's see, what else is wrong with this book? Um, uh, spine split sealed. Uh, inside pages sealed. Uh, let's see, what, what else can we say about this book? Uh, some of the pages have been whitened. It's married. There's literally like three or four different copies of this book married together. Uh, yeah, the first two pages that are just like, first two and first last, like, or not first last, that doesn't make sense. But the first two and the last two, um, what's it called? Wraps are beat. And then you get down, and then you have like, I mean like brittle pages. And after that, you get some okay pages that are still like, you know, cream to brittle in there and you can also get these like really nice white pages and then it goes back to like these more tan pages it's really weird to read this book because you can clearly tell that it is like a ton of different copies just all shoved together but this is still a really good book it's still a hard book to get in literally any grade this book rarely comes up especially at good price so no i'm happy to pick it up I do not mind spending a bit of money, despite the restoration, despite the issues, to be able to own this book. Because, you know, it's a hard book. It's a tough book. And I was like, yeah, I'm, I'm going to invest some money into this book. Now, this is a, well, the only book on this video that won't be for sale at some point. I really doubt I'll find a nicer copy anytime soon. So until then... This book is remaining in the collection, remaining in the PC, and then down the road if I ever upgrade or ever get another copy, this one will probably be up for sale. Just because it's not really the biggest for egregious restoration. But anyways, that's my call my call. That's all I have to show. I will have more books. I'm getting in a bunch of stuff. Hopefully, hopefully I'm getting in a bunch of stuff. But no, that's it for this one. It's a little bit of a smaller one. Um, but I will be back again with more. So thank you for watching, and I'll see you guys all in the next video. Peace.